Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back here at the Disneyland Resort. We're gonna check out everything that's new, try some awesome new foods for the Disney 100, and just enjoy our time. So let's get started. So we made our way here to Tomorrowland. We're at the Alien Pizza Planet. We're gonna try a couple of the new foods. They have one Disney 100 special item. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that now. Okay guys, from Alien Pizza Planet, we have the new chicken enchilada pasta that has a tomatillo green sauce to it. It's covered with crema and queso fresco and some corn. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my first bite here. That is really, really good. Definitely tastes like something I would make at home. This has all the flavors and they definitely hit it on the nail with that enchilada flavor. This for me out of five would definitely be a five. Okay, let's go ahead and give the enchilada pasta a shot. I'm really excited for this one. It does look super creative. So let's go ahead and take a bite. Wow. That's really good. The flavors are there for sure. A little bit of a spice. Let me take one more bite. Try and get a little bit of everything. Here we go. Yo, that's really, really good. Totally agree with Nicole. I feel like all the flavors of the enchilada is definitely here. It's got a little spice to it. I wouldn't say it's like too overbearing, but it's really good. Even the cast members said it's one of their favorites now at the um, Pizza Planet. So give this one a shot. If you like pasta, if you like enchiladas, this would be your fusion. Um, I think that I would like to see a little bit more chicken on this dish, but I get it. It's more of a pasta thing. So um, that would be my only drawback with this is really, really good. And again, I think it's a five out of five as well also from the alien pizza planet this is something i'm really excited for this is the lemon cake and now it is the disney 100 years of wonder um, this is so cool looking and i'm so glad we get a little bit of a preview before next week when the disney 100 officially kicks off here at the disneyland resort it looks so delicious guys so let's go ahead and dive right in so we'll go ahead and try the cake first okay here we go first bite Oh my gosh, this is good. So the glaze on here makes this perfect. I love how it's served chilled. I think that adds an extra like dimension to this thing. Uh, it's really, really good. If you could, I don't know, this might seem weird, but if you could feel the cake on top. It, the glaze is like so on point. Um, let's go ahead and try some of the frosting that's underneath the Disney 100 alongside the cake. Wow. This is so good. And for me not being a huge cake person, this is definitely on point. I feel like the lemon in this cake is just so delicious. Um, definitely, if you are a cake fan or a lemon fan, this would be definitely something to get. And it's not that badly priced, so add this one to your list, especially coming here for the Disney 100 celebration. Okay guys, from Galactic Grill, we have the Blackberry Cucumber Limeade. It looks very refreshing, very delicious. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir and we'll take our sip here. Wow, so it definitely does have that cucumber taste to it. It has a little bit of the tartness from the uh, blackberry it is, um, but it's very enjoyable and it does have just a slight sweet uh, hint to it. But overall, I definitely enjoyed this drink. This might be something I will get again this season. I'm really excited for this one just because I love like these drinks that they have here at Disneyland. So give it a nice stir. Let's go ahead and try it. Ooh, very refreshing. I do like the little, um, I guess, what are they like seeds or the little pieces from the blackberry? It's actually really refreshing. Um, like she said, it's not too tart and it's not too sweet. It's just perfect. So I think overall, in my opinion, I'd probably give this a four out of five. The taste is really, really delicious, and it's going to go perfect with the hamburger. So let's give that a shot. Also from Galactic Grill, we have the grilled pineapple hamburger. It is an Angus beef patty with grilled spice ham, pineapple, horagashi slaw, sweet mayonnaise on a toasted brioche bun. It looks absolutely delicious. I can't wait to take my first bite. Right off the bat, the presentation is insane. Compared to the previous burger they had, this looks like you're paying for your buck, so our first bite. Oh yeah. It has all the flavors that it needs to have. My only complaint is the burger patty. It's a little bit dry, but overall, 10 out of 10. Time for the burger. This looks really appealing, like Nicole said. Um, let's go ahead and give it a bite. 
Wow. There's a lot happening there. Mm -hmm. So I love the idea with the spam in here alongside that pineapple. It makes this hamburger just perfect because it adds a little bit of sweetness to it. The slaw is really, really good by itself as well. Um, the Angus patty is perfect. I know we had this kind of sitting around for a couple minutes while we were filming, but this really warm would definitely be a five out of five in my opinion. Um, the burger overall is great. I know the last couple of like uh, seasons for different burgers here at Galactic Grill wasn't the greatest, but I feel like this is definitely a best bang for your buck. Um, this one I would definitely put on the priority list if you're coming here to the Disneyland Resort. This is great. Galactic Grill, you did a fantastic job with this one. Just want to point out again, guys, this Disney 100 um, topper on the cake is so freaking cool. I love the detail and design that they put in this thing. It's like almost like I don't want to eat it, but I'm going to try it out. We just finished up eating at Galactic Grill and the Alien Pizza Planet. There were some really, really good things. Uh, now what we're going to be doing is heading over to Tomorrowland. Or not Tomorrowland, uh, Toontown. So we're going to head over to Toontown. The new sign is up, so let's go check it out. Here we are in front of Toontown. It looks like they have the new sign finally up as of today. It looks so cool. I feel like it definitely looks better than the original one, but this is really, really neat. I definitely can't wait for... I believe in March is when you're finally going to be able to see the new version of Toontown. I know on the 27th you'll actually get a chance to ride the Runaway Railroad ride that's actually at Walt Disney World as well. So this is going to be really cool. I know that Nicole is quite sad of the changes, but we're going to see. I think Raylani is going to grow up in a whole new uh, world, as they say in Disney, but for a new Toontown. So it's going to be interesting to see what it's all about. And for you Magic Key holders over here next to It's a Small World, you can find yourself a Disneyland lithograph. They are really cool. Definitely something that we love collecting. And if you are a Magic Key holder, why not pick this up? And if you guys didn't know, you can actually meet some of the characters here across from Toontown. We're predicting once Toontown opens officially, these characters will finally be able to return back home. And right across the way from It's a Small World, you can actually find a booth that has a lot of the Disney 100 merch and virtually no line. So this might be the place to come pick some of this stuff up. Another great thing about being here at Disneyland is we get to check out all these little ducks. I don't feel like these guys get enough attention on camera. They're so cute. They're our favorite thing to do other than people watch. Right. Okay. Bye guys. Hi ducky. The way they walk on the fake grass so is funny. funny. Okay, here we have the new Magic Key popcorn buckets. These things look amazing. I love this one. This is the one Nicole and I picked up, but if you just get popcorn normally, it'll come in this thing. Uh, we made our way inside the Aquarium. Wanted to look at a couple of new things that have been released since we've come here. And this is the new Carl and Ellie box. So this would be like a great Valentine's Day gift. And this will run you $39.99. I love this. All right, Nicole found a collection she really likes. Yes, I was saying if it, I mean, it rained for whatever reason, but this is really cute. That is I really just cool. like the vintage style mini. It just like reminds me of my childhood for some reason. Um, I can't like keep my eyes off of this. It's so adorable. And then off to the left hand side, it looks like we have some new Starbucks cups. This is a gold one. It shows Disneyland on it. We have not seen it before, but it is here on the shelves, and this will run you $49.99. And then also on the opposite side, it looks like we have some more of the Disney 100 silver tumblers. This tumbler feels so weird though. Watch, feel it, babe. Compared to other ones? Yeah, feel Ooh. it. It's like hard to like grab. I like the feeling. It is really yeah. cool. Oh, nice. Okay, we made our way to the Disney 100 wall. One thing I did want to point out is this. So it's a medallion souvenir book. So this is going to be really interesting to see what Disneyland does with these in particular. Um, it's going to probably be like a new press penny thing and I'm assuming it's going to cost a little bit more. But yeah, this would be pretty cool to do down the road. And another thing we want to point out is this snow globe. Nicole and I were both talking about this might be something neat to bring home just to commemorate that 100 years of wonder. This is $39.99. And then I'm sorry guys, I didn't actually show the price on this guy. And this one is $24.99. And then I also want to point out this Walt Disney Cartoon Pals cup. This cup is actually really cool. I'm not a huge fan of like collecting cups, but this one right here, I would definitely add to the collection. And this will run you $27.99. And then you guys know me, I love my hats. Now this hat looks really fantastic. 
Sorry, it's a little bit fuzzy, but this one I would definitely add to the collection. And then Nicole also pointed this one out. This is the new headbands, and these will run $34.99. Okay, one more thing to point out. This is the new baseball jersey that released. And this thing is really cool. It's expensive. Is it? Yeah. It's calling Nicole's name. Uh, what do you guys think? I love this jersey. It's all over everybody's page. I think I just love the classic character look to this. This is a little bit thicker material. Um, it doesn't really have a jersey feel to it. And it is $64.99. Okay guys, so that is the video. Let us know in the comment section down below if you're going to be trying anything that we had today. We're so excited for next week for the Disney 100 celebration to finally kick off. It was kind of a busy day today, so we figured we'd just wrap it up now. But with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And tap the notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.